I uh, want a bit of metal to go on the end of the pendulum uh, to work in conjunction with that uh, electromagnet uh, that I've got and this is a, a piece of 8mm uh, thick uh, iron bar that I've got so I'm going to cut the end off that and uh, use that as, um, as a little armature so let's see the bit I've just chopped off I'll clean that up now okay that's the uh, little bit of metal after having a, a bit of a clean up with uh, a bit of emery well, a file and uh, a bit of emery that's uh, surface oxidization when the metal was rolled but uh, I should be getting rid of that That's a 4mm clearance hole and uh, I've just got to countersink it now. Ok I've got those two countersunk now. What I've done is countersunk them just a little bit below the surface because uh, this, pen, this is going to go on the bottom of the pendulum and it's going to swing in an arc, uh, exaggerating it. Let's get away a bit exaggerating it it's going to swing in an arc like that so what I'm going to do is um, shape this so that it's uh, it's uh, that sort of shape so I'll do that in a minute as the uh, pendulum swings backwards and forwards so it uh, scribes an arc so we know that it's going to do this sort of thing and I had anticipated that I was going to have to shape the uh, the armature because um, this one I noticed it can catch on uh, it, on this corner or the other corner and um, I thought it was uh, simply the shape of the arc that it was going through but I think this bit of metal is bent because I'll, I'll show you what I've found I've got a piece of wood here that's uh, fixed, uh, pivoted on a screwdriver in the uh, vise at the other end there and uh, that bit of wood is the length of the pendulum that I've got and uh, this bit on the end here is that's the armature that I've just been uh, shaping and um, what I'll do is I'll show you this setup here, I've got a little clock set up on my drill I'll get a close up. So this is the uh, the end of the pendulum. That's my armature. There's a little dial gauge there, and uh, we've cracked a crystal. You'll notice. And when I'm in the centre of the uh, armature, so this little uh, uh, device there, the bearing is running on the end of the armature. There, you'll see the clock is uh, zeroed on twenty thou. And a thousandth of an inch and if I go to that end it's uh, 3 plus 3 thou back to 20 when I'm in the middle and again plus 3 thou on the other side so there's only 3 thou uh, of an inch in it I thought that the um, uh, that swing was uh, much more pronounced um, so uh, what I was going to do was set up a, a grindstone here I'm going to G-clamp my grindstone. Um, if you can imagine that was the edge of my grindstone, and then I was simply going to work this backwards and forwards to uh, take that off. So if you imagine that's my grindstone, um, but it's only three thousand, so I don't think it's uh, worth bothering with. Of course, what I really like is having the option to change my mind, and I've changed my mind. I, I am going to do it. Well, I can tell you for nothing. I uh, I wish I hadn't bothered. As uh, I've uh, I've put an awful shape on the uh, end of this thing now, 
so uh, I'm, I'm simply going to file it flat and uh, uh, pretend it never happened um, but anyway you get it warts and all guys so uh, there you go that's uh, don't don't do this at home children oh, that can go uh, in my list of things I wish I hadn't bothered doing but we will recover of course after that fiasco I had to uh, recount to sink uh, the holes but anyway I'm fully recovered now and uh, my old boss has always told me the man that never made a mistake never made anything and uh, I guess that's right uh, for my next trick I'm going to blue this I had some questions about the bluing of the um, uh, the little um, uh, u-coil that I made so I might just uh, polish this up a little bit more and then uh, blew it I've got the uh, little armature there I've um, polished it up and I've rubbed it all over with my hands my hands were dirty when I did it so any grease that was on my hand is sort of evenly <laughs> distributed over there because it's all about surface oxide and I don't know what oxides it actually sort of needs this is a little uh, cooking uh, gas torch I've got um, I've not used it for this before um, but uh, we'll give it a go and uh, the thing is we don't want to get it too hot I'll uh, zoom in a bit I'll try and keep this in shot but I'm trying to see it and um, look through the, uh, the back of the camera and this will go a straw colour first and then it'll go beautiful purple if there's any justice uh, and then blue. It's just going straw now. So I don't want to go too quickly. I don't need to. Sorry. Um, see that straw colour? Yeah. And. overdo it because uh, if I over colour it and then the, the only way of getting back is to uh, uh, clean it all off again, cool it down, clean it off. I'll, uh, I'll find out what the relevant temperatures are and I'll uh, I'll put that on the screen. Yeah, that's a nice brown now, a nice straw colour. So that's getting very close. And what people do is they, they dip this in oil uh, to cool it down so that it, uh, um, it doesn't over, uh, over colour. Um, but I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to back off. So that's, uh, that's going the blue, purpley blue now. Sorry, I'm trying to look at the back of the camera and <laughs> wave the torch around and this is about uh, a foot in front of the uh, camera. Sorry. That's the purple there. Sorry this keeps going out of shot but it's, it's extremely difficult but I figured if I did it in real time uh, then you could, uh, you could see what's happening. And uh, I've got copper wire on there which is uh, you know, obviously going to carry heat away but it's, 
it was just the first thing I've got to hand and uh, you'll kind of get to know that I'm I tend to use what I've got rather than what I ought to have okay I think that's you can see the reflection of the blue there um, and that's as far as I'm going to go okay the clock says 3 minutes uh, 54 seconds from when I started this bit um, so presumably it's still oxidizing um, but not very much it should be starting to cool down now um, but if I got it too hot um, it would go uh, brown again and uh, then all color would be would be lost but um, I wanted that uh, sort of electric blue uh, the way they used to do good old-fashioned uh, electrical components just uh, one quick comment um, when I said I wiped my hands all over it what I did I, I wiped my hands over it like this I didn't leave any obvious fingerprints because if you leave a, a thumb mark on there um, you will in fact uh, have that in the oxide and uh, you will uh, see it forever so uh, I hope that's uh, not a bit of misinformation I gave you uh, right at the onset okay so uh, I think particularly for a three-wheel bike you were asking uh, um, uh, how, how I went about that you've, you've seen the process okay I hope you found that interesting and um, thanks for watching guys Try not to burn my fingers now. Bye-bye.